everyone. I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of uh, how to use Inkscape and manipulate font to follow a path. And not just necessarily following a path or an object, also physically manipulating the text manually using your mouse. So I'm just going to do a quick demonstration here. The first one is getting your text, which we have here, to wrap around the path of the object that you selected. In this case, it's a circle. So we can start off by clicking on the Create Circle icon. Move your mouse over the screen. Put your finger down on the control button on the keyboard. And while you're doing that, left hand click your mouse button, keeping your finger down on the, on the mouse button and dragging it across in a sort of southeast direction. And you'll get a perfect, perfectly round sphere. And let go. Next thing you want to do is go here to the Create and Edit Text uh, icon, click on it, click once on the screen, and write our text. In this case, I'm just going to put my website address. Okay, the text is a bit big and I don't like the font so much, so I'm going to go here to select the font, fam uh, select the font family, and I'm going to bring the font size down to about 20. Okay, now to get this text to wrap around this circumference, what we do is we go over to the Select and Transform tool. We can see that the text is already highlighted. Each time you click on an object, it will highlight it. But we want to highlight both of them. So I'll highlight one, which is the text. Keep my finger down on the Shift button and highlight the other object. I select the other object and you can see that they're both highlighted and that's because this square with arrows represents that they're both selected. From that we go up to the top, we go to text and we put uh, put on path and you can see that the text automatically wraps around the circumference of the circle. Now if you want to change the direction of this text, instead of being below at the bottom, maybe at the top, I simply click once on the circle, click again, and you'll see that these arrows have changed direction. So if you click once, there are just normal arrows pointing outwards, which means you can scale the object up or down. Click again, which means now they're sort of rotated, so you can rotate them. So select one of the corner arrows and you can actually rotate the circle itself, which actually in turn rotates the text. And say now that I want to put the text inside the circumference of the circle, once again you can select the text, keep your finger down and shift, select the circle, and over here there's an icon called Flip Select Objects Vertically. Now, I'm using Linux. If you're using Windows system, the icon is going to look slightly different, but it is in the same location on the screen. Click on that. And now you see that you've inverted the text. Not inverted it, but it's actually with inside the circumference of the circle. Now, let's move across here, and we'll do this one more time in a different way. We've got the text APM Designs. Create a much nicer font and font size 20. Now let's select the text. The first thing we need to do is go to object path, convert the text into object path. Now before I do that, what it basically does is right now we've got text which means we can actually edit, change it, etc. Once you've got the text highlighted and you go to Object Path, sorry, text highlighted, go to Path, Object Path, and select it. You'll notice now you're not able to actually change that text because if we see it, it's actually converted the font into its own straight lines. The reason people do this is because if you create a font 
using one computer for uh, say you're creating a web web design uh, a logo sorry say you're creating a logo and you've got some text on it and you're using a font and you send it to another computer if that co other computer doesn't have the same font it will use a different font which will actually mess up the design so you convert it to path well sorry you you select object to path and that makes it into lines so the text will not change no matter which computer you actually send it to so first of all anyway I'm, I'm rambling on here we've converted the text to object to path and the next thing we do is again select the text by going first to the select and transform object icon and clicking on the text next we go to path effect editor and what we want to do is add the bend feature you've got other features here but we're going to go for the add bend feature so we click on add it will add it here and here you got bend path so you select on this icon and you can see the line here going across the text and you can physically manipulate the text until you get something that you like. Well, that's it for today. It's just a very quick feature, um, very quick tutorial, and uh, sorry for the rambling on, but hope you get the general idea. Thanks very much for your time, guys, and uh, look forward to speaking to you sometime soon.